Hey guys, welcome to here. Today we're gonna be playing some farming simulator 2019 here on the um Honeybee Farms map or on the tournament. And we're doing a little hand today, and I'm thinking about selling pretty much all the animals. They're kind of a lot of work to do. We'll see if we get all this hay done and see if we can keep them a little while. But we went ahead and mowed everything, so the mowing's done. We gotta go through and ted. This patch is all I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna use the grass for silage so the rakes over there somewhere rake and hay I think actually I have to run that myself so anyway if you guys want to check out some more FS 17 or and 19 videos go over to my channel links in the description or in the card above and we will be posting over there probably pretty much every day daily for sure on that channel I'm not sure about this one yet what we're doing with this one However, we, so for some weird reason, when you go this way, it doesn't usually work. I don't know why. It's working now for some reason. That's weird and strange. I th yeah, see, then it quit working. So I think the one reason is this hitch is a high hitch, so you're supposed to hook it up to the top of the thing. But it's a low tractor hitch. And I was going to hook it up to the 7R, but I can't find the 7R and the 6M's gone. So I'm guessing they got either taken out of the game or sold. Because those two tractors do have the higher hitch for it. So I'm actually just going to shut it off, turn it around at the end, and come back up the other way. Real quick. And then we'll probably go get the rake, finish raking over there. And we might start the 8400 on the back and forth plant in this field to corn. Alright, so I think we're going to call this pretty much good. We'll take the rake and rake that together. We'll rake all this together. We'll get it all bailed up. We're going to get this folded up. We'll start traveling back. And this was on the 8R, but it wasn't working. And this looked like it had a taller hitch on it, so I tried it. And it still doesn't work. So apparently it's a one-way machine. You have to go down the bottom and work your way up. I'm guessing because it's that slight incline. And it works on that. And I think flat ground... But there is always a slight incline. Nothing's ever flat. Unless you make it flat. So this field's ready to harvest. We have the oats up there and the beans in the middle and the corn in the bottom. I was going to chop the corn. But I think I'm just going to grass hay it. Grass for the corn. Like for silage. Instead of corn silage it'll be haylage. Which is alright. This is getting a little dirty ain't it? We only used it like a little bit. I don't think anybody's washed it for a while. Anyway, we do have most of the cows fed. We went ahead and used up all the silage, so the bunker is empty. So we can continue. We can fill it up with grass. We do have the 8400 on the wagon right now. We're going to wash this up, put it away, and then we'll start doing some hay. Start raking, probably. Then once we get it all raked, actually we're going to start the 8400 in the planter up at the top of field 5. We're going to call that field number 5 or number 1. I think that'll be number one, and that'll be number two over there. Just kind of do this. The tractor doesn't really need washed because it's kind of going to get dirty anyway. Because we're limited by two tractors. And I was curious where all my tractors went because I thought we had enough to run everything. Because I was kind of planning it out last night on how I was going to do things. But we lost two tractors, so that's where my two tractors went. I think the you can see the 6M loader right there. That's and we got the animals pretty much all caught up. We might sell some milk here soon. But they're pretty well caught up. The horses are all caught up. And so we won't need to feed them. But I think I'll put this tractor in the shed. Because I don't think there's anything for it to do as of right now. Back it in here. Go ahead and shut that off. So we'll jump in the 8400. We do have the 8R out there too. The only one I remember is 8400 because it's 84. 100. Easy number. We'll drop that off there. We'll go ahead and hook onto the planter. The DB90. We do have the DB120. We just don't have enough money for it yet. We're planning on... We've pretty much doubled our production, so when we get that harvested, we should have enough. Prices are pretty low right now, because everyone's selling, because we're basically altered. Because if you look at the map, a lot of people are harvesting right now while we're harvesting, and we did have it to where somebody... Oh yeah, we have these fields to buy because that one guy sold out. But they're still like millions of dollars. 
There's nothing really too cheap. Everything's pretty well in the millions, so you're kind of screwed on all of that. However, we'll get the planter filled up. I think it's repaired. Actually, we might as well go check. Get it fully repaired. Looks like the tractor's fully repaired and pretty much fully fueled. Might just top that off. If it's even refilling, I don't even know if it is. Good thing we brought the planter here. 1500 repair. Now it should be able to run. I don't think the fuel is filled up. There it filled up a little bit. So, we'll be using this tractor on the planter. Probably be using the one that's on the fertilizer spreader for the harvest. I think I'll be harvesting over on my channel. If you, want to guess, if you guys want to go check that out, we'll be harvesting soybeans and oats over there. Or if you want to check that out, links in the description or in the card that popped out in the beginning of the video. And we're going to buzz up here. We're going to go ahead and switch it to corn. Probably should fill it with some seed and fertilizer quick, and then we'll take it up there. Alright, so once again, we're driving over most of the hay. We'll get most of this cleaned up, hopefully, in the next couple of videos. Probably be all cleaned up tonight. We'll see in my video if it's cleaned up tonight, if you guys are curious. Actually, it'll be in tomorrow, so. I'll kick that on. And we should be able to put on a second stage of fertilization. We hire him out. Oh, I know why he's going 6 miles an hour. Bump that up to 10 or 11. There, now we can drop it in the ground, kick it on. Hire that worker out. And he should just basically plant till he's out of fertilizer. Usually that's what happens. So that means we do have some more missions to do up at the top of the map. Looks like they're all harvesting right now. However, he'll plant that about 9 mile an hour. All the way to corn. We're going to tab into the... Wherever it's at. Right here. So, Oh, he still has to continue. So we'll let him continue. And we'll see you guys win. And I remember what we were going to do with the other tractor now. We were going to put that on the baler. But due to the baler isn't ready yet. Or to bale yet. I don't think we will. I think we'll finish raking. We'll go ahead and rake this little bit for the while because the planter will be coming around and probably deleting some of that grass up there. Alright, so we went ahead and spread the lime around the edge of the field and now we're coming back around this edge and we're probably going to end up running out and we didn't really need to spread this down here. We actually, oh that's plowed, that's why. Let's go ahead and look. So yeah, we didn't really need to spread this down here but I went ahead and did it anyway because that way every three years that way the whole field needs it and not just like half the field so it's kind of easier in a way so I kind of just fixed a mistake from down the road but now we should be able to put these away these spreaders away I'm gonna go ahead and maintain this one I did I know I just did but I'm gonna do it anyway that way when we pull it out for the next time they will be ready to rock and roll and I'll probably do that to the other one the other one's actually full of fertilizer. I might as well repair both of them. The tractor. And the spreader. And probably the other spreader. Because I think it's at 0% repair. Because I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who repairs things around here. And, but then again, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who runs things around here. Like, a lot. Because most people just get stuff and then put it away when they're done. I fix it up and then put it away. That way I don't have to do it when I pull it out of the shed. It's just a little easier. In real life, it'll be it'd be the other way around. However, go ahead and clean off the tractor. We'll probably put this one on the grain cart or on the loading wagon. We'll probably put it on the loading wagon. This guy up here, planting. We have this. What is up here? What's this? That little spot green right there. It's weird. Anyway, we'll put this away. I'm going to go ahead and back it in if we can, all the way to the back, like we normally do. Unless there's like a mission that we can do. Probably won't do a mission anyway. We got no like, yeah, there's no missions to do anyway. Like I say, we can't really do a mission because we don't have enough tractors to run two of them, so we'd only run one. It's kind of a pain sometimes. But we'll actually be pulling the one out for a while because of who put that drill away I think Brett puts things away or more, I don't know but I always clean them off usually before I put them away unless I know I'm going to use them which that we're probably going to use pretty soon 
We'll go ahead and go get the other spreader and clean it up, put it away. And then that corn header, I don't know what to do with it. We'll probably put it on a header trailer, header cart. I think we have one somewhere. Yeah, there's one right there. Or we'll go put it, we'll probably put it with the other corn head over there. Not sure why it's out. I think they were planning on picking that corn right there. I'm not planning on doing that for a little while. Like I said, we're going to be doing beans first. That way we don't have to swap the heads. We just do beans and then the oats and then we'll do corn last. And actually, I'm going to go repair this. I forgot to go do that. Sometimes I just plain out forget and then I have to circle around like that. I tend to do that a lot. But there's our dog. Right there. We'll go ahead and stop. And we might as well repair the tractor again, right? I figured I'd do that. It's so like the weights on the front, I think they're separate. I think you have to actually wash them separate. I'm not sure. Darn it, I didn't go for far enough forward. I hate that. I wish like every time you'd get in this, like hit R, it would change to something else. It's like then it would change to the tractor or whatever's in this collision area. We've been using this power washer for a little while. Sometimes I get stuck up here. Alright. Sometimes I lag a little bit and get stuck places. Usually it's on machinery. Anyway, we'll get this washed up, get it put away in the building. Might wash the tractor up a little more too. We'll see. Alright, so we're going to back this in. Now we'll probably be pulling this one out here shortly once we get this field harvested. Field 21 harvest or harvested or field 2 harvested. We'll probably call it field 1 and 2. The farm. Because we'll have to fertilize that. With, we'll have to hit it with one stage. Actually, maybe not. I think what we'll do is we'll plant. We'll plant it first and then let it grow up and then hit it with the second stage with the spreader. And all that. But we're going to hook onto this. Now, I don't know if it needs repaired or not. I don't think it does. We haven't really ran it a lot, but I'm going to run it over there just in case because by the time you take this clear across to the other side of the field and then figure out that it does need repaired and then you have to drive it all the way back. It's just a big pain, so you might as well just check it and you might as well repair it for like the 30 bucks that you need to repair it for. And it did need repaired, so $700. So now it should run at 12 mile an hour. I think that's the speed on it. I don't know. I was doing some landscaping. That's why I was on that page. Anywho, it's right there. No, that's something else. This, it's coming up somewhere. Right here. Right in my face. 12 mile an hour. And that's 14.8. Oh, we still have this rake too. We should sell this. Oh, you can repair it from here? Repair. Why can you repair it from the garage? That's odd. Is it just things that are below, like zero? I'm gonna go through and repair everything. I didn't know you could do that. So can you repair, let's see, what? I think it's just like the things that are at zero or in the red, then you can repair. I'm surprised that baler needs repaired. We'd barely use it. It's got 0.7 hours on it. Wow. Repair the loader. So I didn't know you could go through and repair it, stuff like this. That's crazy. Never knew that. Like I said, learn something new every day. And of course, buildings you probably don't repair or need to repair. We do have this over here, this grass area. I'll probably start on it just because it's closer and I probably should rake it. But I don't know if the rake's going to actually work. Because when you rake the hay together, it tends to not work right. Like it puts it in a wide, super wide windrow. And I don't know if this thing will pick it up. So it's really, we, we're just going to go ahead and fill this up for now. And we'll probably get most of this picked up. I don't know how much you can run. We're already at 6,000. So probably two rounds and we'll be full with this thing. We'll see, but we might go jump in the rake and rake all that. Rake that. Rake up there and just kind of finish raking. And then in the next video, we'll be doing harvest. That's on my channel. If you guys want to check that out, link's in the description or in the card above. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button, and we will see you all in the next one.